You know, it never ceases to amaze me what this city holds. Today, while I was adding a bit of zest to my evening run, I discovered this new side street tucked away in Brooklyn, showcasing some breathtakingly beautiful murals. It was like diving into a sea of vibrant colours and abstract thought, a stark and stunning contrast against the urban jungle, quite symbolic, if I may add. I know, I know, I'm getting all artsy about it, but honestly, each mural felt like it told a unique story, you know? And being my tech nerd self, I couldn't help but whip out my phone and capture them. Now I've got this cool photo collection that I'm calling Run Roots Amp Murals that I'm considering sharing on social media. Could be a fun way to switch up content, right? Or maybe it could inspire others to go out and explore their neighbourhoods. There's so much charisma hidden under the concrete exterior. Stand by for a virtual mural tour, dear friend. Speaking of tours, I got into an interesting banter with Sam and Rachel today about gaming and productivity. Believe it or not, Sam actually managed to beat his own high score on Star Galaxy and threw down the gauntlet. And honestly, challenge accepted. We might be neck deep in our work, but a little fun never hurt anybody, right? Besides, Rachel chimed in with a brilliant article about optimising different parts of the day for certain tasks. Something to think about, I reckon, even though I personally subscribe to the whole Pomodoro technique thing. I find it keeps the gears turning and my stressful start-up life a bit organised. On that note, Rachel and Sam agreed to join my mural hunt during our five-minute breaks, putting a fresh twist on our idea of work-life balance. And ah, uh, here comes the dorky bit. Sam snagged this new sci-fi book. It's called Dimension Wanderer. The way he talks about it, I guess it's worth taking a peek into another dimension after we're done braving our own earthly challenges. I tell you, art, video games, sci-fi adventures, I bet you didn't picture our day as anything but work-oriented. So about the surprise pizza and games night last night, huh? Quite an interesting roll of the dice, wasn't it? Those pepperoni and mushroom pizzas were a hit. And shout out to Sam for the chicken. Close, but the secret of the spice level lies in that gochujang. A little more and we'll have the perfect kick. Speaking of kick, I may have gotten a bit too excited during that last board game challenge. And hey, how about we add that Matrix movie marathon next time? Nothing like some Keanu Reeves action to spice up the night, right? Oh, and Rachel, your treasure hunt idea sounds like an absolute adventure. Maybe next time we can combine it with our usual hike. I mean, think about it. The thrill of the hunt coupled with the challenge of the climb sounds pretty much like our startup life. Except, this one promises more fun, less stress. We really should do these fun breaks more often. Nothing beats shared laughter and good food. Maybe we can make it our little stress buster tradition. By the way, I find it fascinating how every time we've cooked together, everyone's just so intent on getting it right. It's like we're a bunch of amateur chefs striving for Michelin stars in a home kitchen. Do you think if AI doesn't pan out for me, I have a shot at MasterChef? Our conversations always leave me thinking. It's like we blend our entrepreneurial instincts and geekness into a delicious mix. Surely we have indeed come a long way from our tech nerd days. All right, let's get back on track. My break is almost up. Remember the rule, work hard, pizza harder. So I've been caught in the grip of creativity today. I concocted this new AI-powered platform specifically for digital artists. Think of it as a virtual critiquing ground, a space bubbling with creativity and constructive feedback, all driven by our friendly neighbourhood AI. Now, I know what you're thinking. Chris and yet another AI project, right? But hey, this one's a little closer to the heart, you know? It's like colliding my world of AI with my soft corner for digital art. Well, I do believe in mixing business with pleasure, don't I? In our little geek club, it was quite a splash. Rachel promptly labelled it as Tinder for artists. Classic Rachel comedy there. And Sam, well, he might just give digital art a whirl. Imagine that, Sam becoming Sam the Artist. We'll be in for a treat indeed. You know, it feels good to have these casual, light-hearted banters with Sam and Rachel amidst our tech-driven lives. Brings in that wave of normalcy, you know? From one form of art to another, we drifted our chat towards music. Ah, the new Coldplay album. You listened to it yet? 
There's something about their music, man. It's like an old friend, comforting, familiar, yet always managing to surprise you. We all agreed on that. Like wine, cold play gets better with age. As for food, yes, you guessed it. The conversation steered towards sushi. Sam suggested this new sushi place downtown that's apparently causing quite a stir. Well, no surprise there that Rachel playfully lamented on the geographical disadvantage we often forget. Maybe, next time you're in town, we, the trio of New York, can host you for a memorable sushi feast. How about it, huh? Doing all these side projects, casual hangouts, and small explorations, it truly feels like we're adding layers to our friendships. It's no longer just about being techie nerds from college. It's like we're shaping stories within stories. Kind of like those multidimensional plots Sam devours in his sci-fi books. Anyway, 